According to information from the Department of Statistics on St. Kitts, the quantity of potable water available for household and commercial purposes have been falling since the year 2010. While this has been occurring, the demand for water has been increasing with the development of new housing, expanding tourism and demands from the agricultural sector as well. Water on St. Kitts is obtained from two primary sources, namely groundwater and surface water. In 2010, nearly 1.6 million gallons of groundwater went into storage and distribution along with over 849,000 gallons of surface water. By 2019, however, groundwater supply had dropped to just over 1.2 million gallons and surface water obtained fell to just over 543,000 gallons. Some areas of St. Kitts have had long-term water supply issues and a schedule of water supply shutoffs have been in place over a period of years. Recently, Congress Maynard, the Minister with Responsibility for Water, toured sections of the water supply system and made this comment on social media. He said, quote, As we continue to strategize on how to alleviate the tremendous water shortages that we have, it is clear that not enough attention was paid to a water system in recent years. The solutions to the problems are not short term. However, I am confident that we will, again, return to 24-hour water supply. Very soon, I intend to give a summary of the analysis we are doing on the way forward." End quote. Statistics from as far back as 2000 show substantial fluctuations in rainfall that feeds both ground and surface water sources. Generally, there has been a downward trend since 2004. Continued economic and social development will place additional strain on meeting the demands for potable water and depending on rainfall is likely not the answer. Further delays in addressing the water shortage on St. Kitts could lead to a water crisis sooner rather than later. Glenn Bart reporting for SK News.